sort of. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would have been cool. It would have been fun. I don't know. Add an extra, extra part to Carl's storyline. I don't think Carl would have done some of the things that he had done if she had died. And he would have done more extreme things if she had lived. Hey, my name's Sam, and uh, I was just wondering, where's Beth? <laughs> I'm Christine. I wanted to know what do you think it would take a person to audition for a show like The Walking Dead? What did it take you guys to audition? I think you just have to have an agent. <laughs> I mean, they send you auditions, and when I got the audition, it wasn't like, oh, this is going to be the number one show in the United States. It was kind of like, okay, let's, let's do an audition. And even when I booked it, I was like, I have no idea what The Walking Dead is. Like, I had no idea. And now I do, you know? Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, again, me and my dad got the audition, and we were like, this is so stupid, why are we doing this? Um, but I, I, looked, I read the comics, and I'd love to get more of an idea of how to, how to play the character. And, you know, I loved the comics, and uh, I auditioned for it, and I got the role, and I was super excited because, you know, at that time, me and my dad were, or I was about to just give up on acting because my dad was tired of driving me to auditions, and I was missing tons of school for auditions, you know, it was kind of pointless. And we weren't getting anything, and we hadn't been getting anything in a while. And we weren't living in LA or something where everyone does that kind of stuff. So that was probably going to be like one of the last auditions that we would have done. And I didn't get that, my career probably wouldn't have continued. You know, so, um, but yeah, to, to get an audition or to get a part, you just have to be really committed to it. You have to love acting really wanted.